Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys the Windsor knot. Uh, this knot's for wide collared shirts like this one. Um, you can do it with not so wide collared shirts, but it's um, it works best those kind of shirts. Um, so, hold on, let's get this set up. Okay, so you have two ends of the tie. So in my right hand I have the little one. I'm on my oh yeah on my right hand I have the little one. Left hand I have the big one. I'm gonna flip that around. Left hand is the little one around my neck, and then it should go to about um one two three fourth third third three and a fourth um right about here for for me because I'm short um and then once you're here little end, which is in your left hand, goes under the big end, and then you go like that and cross, um, and the big end is on the right, and you take that big end, and you push it up through, through the back, um, oh yeah, if it looks like I'm staring off into space, I'm not, there's a mirror in front of me, not quite that crazy, although some would disagree with that statement. Um, yeah, and then I'll have something that looks like that, that, and then lift this up, it makes it easier, or easier for y'all to see anyway, and then just over like that, and then take this end, and take it through the, the neck loop and then you have a nice symmetrical frame for your Windsor knot um, then you take two fingers um, if you're right handed you're probably going to want to use your left hand um, well I don't, I don't really think it matters um, but take two fingers and then toss it over your shoulder and bring it down and then up through the neck loop. Um, different from this loop with my finger that's moving. But and then bring it through the loop with your two fingers in it. Um, and then just pull down and keep it tight, as tight as possible. Otherwise it looks weird and blocky and not great. Um, and then once it's like this, just give it a yank down, cinch it up to your Nick, um, give it a dimple if you want, um, not everybody does that, but, uh, and then depop your collar, I'm not sure if that's a word, and then, yeah, that's how it looks, um, the reason you use a Windsor for wide collared shirts, um, is, I'll show you what it looks like, what, what a different knot looks like with this wide collared shirt. Um, in just a second. I don't know what it's called. Don't ask, because I don't know. Um, but go right to your belly button about, um, over, back, over, to with two fingers in there, or even three, and then up through the back, and to the front. I did that fast because this video isn't for that knot. Um, it's for Windsor. Pull tight, and then see how thin that knot is, and then if I do that, and then depop my collar, then the strings are going to show. And then I don't think that looks good, because string showing is not very, you know, yeah. So, and then, yeah, and then I can't get it to where the strings won't show. And then, so that's why I decided to wear the Windsor knot. And I was bored, um, but mainly because, so I can actually use this wide collared shirt. Um, so again, big end, right hand, left end, small hand, or left hand, small end, um, over your neck, then about the one, two, four-ish, four and a half button, depending on your height, I'm short, so... <laughs> If you're kind of tall, it'd probably be about three, four, four and a half. Um, then take the little end, which is in your left hand, go under 
the big end. And then in the big end that's in your left hand, take it, push it up through the neck loop, and just pull it all the way through. And then take this, and then go under it. You don't have to actually pull it up. You can just. I just did that so y'all can see. Um, and just lay it along the side, but so y'all can see, I'm gonna up and do that. And then once you have this, you take the take the big end and go through the neck loop again, coming um, down and in through the back. Uh, whoops, this is messed up. I'm gonna redo that for demonstration. <laughs> whoops, is just go through the back, and then then your knot frame looks nice and symmetrical. And take two fingers, yeah, two. Um, like a bridge is what I've heard people call it, and then take your thumb and kind of tuck it behind there, and pull down, and then take it and go through the neck loop, different from this loop, um, the neck loop, um, go up, and take this big end, and pinch it in your two fingers, if you can, and then, and you just pull down, and then when you're about right here, give it a final finishing tug or two, and then depop your collar, and there, that's a Windsor knot.